Hi everybody, Happy New Year. This is the very first of my book club videos and it just happens to be on New Year's Eve. It is from the young adult section and it is called Hero. And it's by Perry Moore. This is his very first novel. You might know Perry Moore as the executive producer of the Chronicles of Narnia movies. And he recently wrote and directed The Lake City, starring Sissy Spacek. Technically, getting into the technical details of this book, it is 428 pages long. Not for the faint of heart page-wise, but if you read Harry Potter and you read it all the way through, you can handle this. Trust me, it's not that bad. It is a little bit hard to get into when you're first starting it because the author sort of starts out and then doubles back and tells you things about the book that happened before the beginning. Kind of like a prequel right in the middle of the first chapter, which isn't very helpful when you're trying to figure things out. And then he moves forward and gets back into the plot and then sort of moves over to the side and talks about other stuff before returning to the original plot. That's because it was written by someone who's used to writing movies. But it's easy to get into once you get used to it and afterwards it's really easy to follow. And that makes it alright. It is a very, very good book and I highly recommend it. It's about this boy named Tom Creed, whose father used to be a very well-known superhero. Yes, superhero. His town knows about superheroes and is just like the Incredibles. Everybody knows there are superheroes who save the day, and they don't really care. Heck, the uh, superheroes' secret identities don't seem to matter that much anyway, because most people know them. But... Anyway, getting back to the plot, Tom's father was one of the best superheroes, but then a tragic accident and a very disgraceful accident changed the world and changed their opinion of Hal Creed, Tom's dad. So now Tom is somewhat ashamed of his father and he's trying to live up to his dad's reputation because their house is constantly getting trashed and everything because of it. And then, one night when he's on a bus trying to run away from it, he encounters some supervillains, which help him to discover his very own superpowers. And um, he starts to realize what he can do with these superpowers. He's a healer. His hands get really hot, and then he puts them on people, and they heal. So, this thing called the League, which his father used to belong to, but they kicked him out, comes and notices him, and invite him to join. So he's joining as a probationary member, and his probationary group is a very ragtag group of misfits. There's a person named Typhoid Larry, who can make people sick just by touching them. There's a girl named Miss Scarlet, who has a real flaming temper, but ironically she can control fire and fly. There's this snappy old lady who can see the future. And there's Golden Boy, who can run really, really fast and is kind of a jerk. So Tom has to learn how to get along with these guys and learn how to save the world. Which he needs to do because someone is suddenly killing heroes. And they have to find out who it is. And at the same time, he's having to deal with, uh, of course, his father's shame. He's having to fight other people, fight the the league <coughs> to 
preserve his father's dignity and at the same time not tell his father that he's in the lead. And then he's also trying to come to terms with the fact that he's gay. And he's trying to help his father understand it because his father is a little bit of a bigot. So the, the whole book is called a coming-of-age novel. That's what it's classified under. And that's what it's all about. And it's a really, really good novel. I, I highly recommend that you go and read it. Because it'll make you think twice. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. And I hope you all will go and read the book. And hope you like it. And Happy New Year!